Hey, what's going on, guys? Something a little different today in the CNC. I'm cutting steel for the first time. So I thought I'd share this with you because it's, uh, it's been interesting. Um, I'm not doing any heavy cutting. I'm actually just putting six holes in a steel plate. That's a 16th of an inch thick. It's a galvanized steel plate. And I figured I'd give it a try. So, so far I've done 50 plates. That's 300 holes. And I did burn up my first bit. And I'll share this, what bits I'm using with you all in a little bit in the feeds and speeds. But first I thought I'd show you the machine cutting. And then we'll talk about what I'm using feed speeds bits wise and uh, give you my impressions. Now I also want to tell you that my machine here, this Axiom AR8 Pro, now this is an all ball screw machine, okay? And from what I understand, cutting steel on a small CNC, the limitations are if you have uh, you know, a rack and pinion drive, they tend to have more backlash, whereas the ball screws don't. And apparently backlash is the enemy of you know, cutting steel with CNC because you get a lot of chatter, which can lead to all kinds of problems. So I've having marginal success so far. I mean, like I said, the first uh, cutter I've used, I got 300 holes out of it. And that was actually a high mileage cutter. It has had a lot of use on it. But like I said, I'll show you those details in a minute. Let me show you this running, and then we'll talk about all that. These are the steel plates, and we load them here on my vacuum jig, okay? And we uh, turn on the vacuum, right? Turn on the air. And start. Okay, now I should tell you those holes are 0.156 diameter. That's a little bit bigger than an eighth of an inch, and they're, 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 then they're going to be tapped for an 832 screw. And all these plates need to be the same. So I thought I'd try it with the CNC. Now that worked pretty well. The only thing that I could hear was shut the air off. The only thing I could hear is that when it breaks through the bottom of the hole, it spins around once like the last finish pass and I hear just a tiny bit of chatter and all that seems to be related to the speed that I'm running at. All right. So anyway, like I said, it's working. It's working fine. We'll see if this cutter, this is the new cutter in here, actually uh, does better. So let me show you feeds and speeds. Now here, first let me show you what I started with. A white side solid carbide spiral upcut and it is one eighth inch cutting diameter two flutes here's the part number all right now see this was getting dull already when i started with it so and now it is it is dull and it's basically just the very tip the very corners are are heated up so i know my feeds and speeds are not perfect or this probably would have cut better but anyway i got 300 holes out of this and this has already been used a lot for aluminum and and for plastics so here's what I'm currently using. All right, it's an Amana tool, 51460. All right, feeds and speeds. Okay, this is what I've been using for the feeds and speeds. Now I'm cutting through 16 gauge mild steel. It's a three flute spiral upcut, solid carbide, one eight diameter, and there's the Amana number. This bit is 40 bucks. All right, um, spindle speed, I'm currently running at 9,000, but I've also used this at 10,000 and even 11,000, and I seem to get a touch more chatter. So I, no, I wasn't getting the same chatter with that two flute white side, but I think it's got to do with the fact that this is three flutes, and I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but I dialed the speed down and it sounds better. My rate of feed is five inches per minute, and my plunge feed is four inches per minute with a 34% step over. 
quick correction, the hole diameter is 0.136 diameter. And also I forgot to mention before that the depth of cut is 0.006 inches. So if that's relevant, 0.006 inches, six thousandths for the depth of cut. Now, I have no idea, guys, if these are the correct <laughs> the feeds and speeds for this. I'm just kind of doing what sounds good. It, 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 it seems conservative to me, but it is working. Maybe I might not have the tool life, but it is working. Okay, the tool path I used was a profile cut, conventional, not climbing in this case, and I had a spiral ramp like lead in to start the cut. So, and that's working pretty good. Um, again, I only have 19 plates left to do with this new bit, so it's not really a real test on the longevity of it. But in my next video, I am going to cut some quarter inch mild steel plate. I'm going to try a profile. I'm going to try cutting a shape out and boring some holes in it. And that'll be a real test in this cutter. But first I got to get this job done. So there you go. I don't know if that'll help anybody. Um, at least if you have a machine that's somewhat equivalent to mine, and you match these settings, uh, I should imagine you should have similar success. Again, I'm not sure how long this tool is gonna last. This has that Altin coating on it, and this is actually made to cut steel and stainless steel. So I'm hoping to get some more life out of this. But we shall see when we get on to the, uh, to the next project, actually cutting some steel out. But I gotta get these done. They have to go out the door. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any uh, tips or advice on setting the speeds for cutting steel on a small CNC like this, please share it in the comments below. I'd appreciate it because uh, I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. All right, peace. Hey, take a look at it. I just wandered into my shop. Little, uh, little garter snake. <laughs> he, actually, he actually came in on the edge of my ramp out here. Oh, sorry, the lights out here came in in the edge of my ramp and uh i come out to check him out and there was a like a four four and a half foot black snake chasing him i guess that's why he tried to come into the shop i couldn't catch the black snake he was he was too fast but uh check him out let's let him go away from where the black snake was